Hi friends, I am Jitendra Bafna. Today we will going to see how to connect Windows Azure Service Bus topic with Mule SB. So we will going to see one demo where we will going to send a message to the topic. Okay. So let me start. First thing we need to check. Uh, first thing I will log into Windows Azure and I will try to create one Service Bus. Okay. So I will say create a new namespace. I will say Mule Demo Topic. SB. Okay, you can select region from here. I will say North Europe. I will click on this button. Now, other thing you need to download a service bus connector. Service bus. In my case, it's already downloaded, downloaded and installed. So you can, by default, it will not install in your new palette. So you can connect to Exchange. You can see like Microsoft Azure Service Bus Connector. You need to install this. In my case, it's already installed. That's why you can see a disabled uh, button disabled. So in your case, you can install it. And after installation, it will ask you to restart the AnyPoint Studio. You can do that. And it will complete your installation. Okay. So let me go back to my Windows Azure. Okay, my topic uh, Service Bus has been created. Under top Service Bus, I can create one topic. Create it a new topic. Click create. I will say test topic click on this button let wait till it's creating a topic for you okay now i will add subscription is it test subs Let's wait. It is verifying the name. Okay, subscription. You can see like current size is zero byte, and subscription count could be one. Let me go to topic. See, okay, current size is zero byte. Now I will start with the application. I will say before that what I have to do. I have to go to my service bus and I have to copy the connect connection information that will be required when we are going to connect to the service bus. Topic. Let's wait. It retrieving the connection information. Okay. It has written and you can copy that and paste it to some notepad. Fine. Now I will create a new application. File new mule project. I will say topic app sb. For runtime, I will get select. 3.8 only in your case there can be a multiple runtime you can de select depending on your requirement rest of the setting i am not going to touch next next and finally i will say finish okay now what i will do i will drag and drop on http listener component into the message canvas i'm going to configure it so under connector configuration i will click on this add button i will keep all setting as a default under path i will say sb allow method i will say post Second thing, I always use logger. After logger, I will use Microsoft Service Bus Connector. Okay. Then I will go into set payload. Under set payload, I will just type written one message. Message send to topic successfully. I will go to Microsoft Service Bus. I will going to start configuring it. Under connector configuration, I will click on this add button. There are multiple options. I will select Azure Service Bus. I will say OK. It requires this thing, service name space, access key name and access key. So you can get it from that connection string here, copy it. I will copy this service bus name. You don't have to provide full name, just the name. No need to provide that URL. Then access key name. Then this is here access key. Okay, you can test the connection. Here you can see like max connection is minus one. 
So minus one, you can like any number of connection. You can specify like 10 connection, 20 connection. By minus one, minus one means any number of connection. I will say okay. Now I have to select the operation. So we have already seen how to send the message to queue in last demo. Now we will see topic. So I will send the message to a topic. So what is your destination topic? If you see refresh it, it will list down all the topic. Suppose in case if I have created one more topic, let me show one example. Topic. I say create. Let create new. Can have one topic only okay under you can create a multiple topic let me do one thing create not namespace okay you can create one topic but there can be a multiple subscription fine fine okay not an issue so you can see current size is zero byte and subscription count is one fine so currently Okay, so here are all destination topic, so, so test topic. Let me run the project. Say okay. Okay, the application has been deployed. Now I'll go to Postman to post the message so this is my message i'm going to post it so you can see like uh, log and everything so go to postman it was saying message sent to topic successfully so what was the uh, now it's nine o'clock last up see you can see the uh, now it's become 413 bytes and last access time equals to nine o'clock so let me do one more post so it will get refreshed again automatically. Now let me refresh it. I will go to this to topics. This you can see size is increasing now. It's 826 bytes. Last update was 913. So I can send more messages. So size will get increased. The topic. So let me go back. Let me refresh it. Okay, you can see 2.202 KB last update was 9.1 at 9.1. Right? This is how you can send the message to the topic. And there are various methods like to read the message from topic, like topic get, you can update the topic, you can list the topic, you can create a subscription, you can create a topic from here itself. Okay, so okay, this is all about, you know, like creating the topic, sending message to the topic, service bus. Okay, thanks for watching video.